Hello, I'm Gus Downing, publisher and editor of the D&D Daily, and this is the LP News Network. We're here today with Guy, the CEO of Profit Tech, and Mike Lamaro, the Vice President, Asset Protection of Weiss Markets. Profit Tech is the leading global provider of prescriptive analytics, allowing retailers to easily understand and act on their data. Their solution looks at all aspects of the retail supply chain to identify opportunities for sales and margin improvement, such as training, vendor and cashier compliance, fraud, inventory accuracy, and customer behavior. After identifying the opportunities, the solution delivers descriptive insights along with prescriptive actions to the right person for resolution. Weiss Markets was founded in 1912 and is a mid-Atlantic food retailer operating 163 stores in Pennsylvania, Maryland, New Jersey, New York, and West Virginia. Mike has over 15 years of asset protection experience and is involved in numerous industry organizations. Mike selected Profit Tech Solution in 2012 and has since expanded to be using three of Profit Tech's modules. His organization engages with Profit Tech from store and field management to corporate LP. And with that, I'd like to ask Guy, you know, I know I just said that, you know, Profit Tech delivers descriptive insights and prescriptive actions. Can you explain what that means? Yeah, absolutely. First, uh, thanks for having us here. It's great to be here today. Uh, what our customers are saying is that the old way of doing things with exception-based reporting or sending someone a report to review didn't scale that much because a store manager or an LP field person, when they get a report, they may understand different things from the report. Mm -hmm. if, if you guys look at the report and I'm looking at a report, Mike would look at a report, we may get th different things from the report, mm -hmm. away from it. Mm -hmm. Not to say even what should I do once I understand what the report is supposed to say. Right? Mm -hmm. And so we're saying, how about just change it? Instead of sending a dumb report, just tell the person the descriptive insight. Mm -hmm. you know, you're out of stock of that product or there's a high risk of a fraudulent activity at cashier one, two, three, at store mm -hmm. X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. And then followed by, what do you want them to do about it within Wise Market? Mm -hmm. Because it will be different in Wise Market than it is at DSW, mm -hmm. right? And so you can inherit the culture of how do you want people to execute better, mm -hmm. have the same culture across all stores, and generate value very quickly. So you send them the report and the prescription of what to do with it. What to do with it and what the report tells you. Mm -hmm. You know, what are the top five things that make Profit Tech unique? So we, we are live in days. You know, forget all the all time, six month implementation to see any value. We're live in days. You get the data, we're live, right? That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, you know, today with all the reporting, uh, EBR and any BI tool, any business intelligence tools, we're living in a world of averages. And averages doesn't tell a story, right? Because you're looking across all stores, you don't know what's the inherit within, what's the stories on the lower level. Mm -hmm. And so we're using pattern seeking machine learning technology to find things within the lower level of the data. So number three is pattern seeking machine learning. Mm -hmm. That also enables us to have zero false positive. What we heard from loss prevention and asset protection executives is that with the all EBR solutions, they're getting a lot of false positive and credibility is being impacted. So number four would be pattern seeking machine learning mm -hmm. uh, algorithm and technology. Uh, number, number five is accountability. We generate accountability with a pure workflow that takes it to the right person, mm -hmm. tell them what they need to do. And so it's very guided and the accountability is there because we know a person, John Smith, actually got it mm -hmm. and opened it up. And the most important thing is that the ROI is within the application. Mm -hmm. So rather than ask yourself or your executive after six months, how much this technology generated with my team working with it, you just log in and it will tell you, hey, we just generated $10 million of mm -hmm. increased revenue, $7 million of increased margin, mm -hmm. and those were the people engaged with your tool. Mm -hmm. right? Excellent. There's, sense, yeah. there's, uh, there's other players in the market that sell EBR. I mean, how is this different? So, yeah, we, you know, we, uh, we are a new prescriptive analytics type approach. Mm -hmm. It's a pattern shift from the old EBR technology, right? So instead of sending a report, we send a descriptive insight with a prescription action. Uh, 
our team from a culture perspective is an extended team of our customers. Our mm -hmm. customers are being seen as partners. They help us innovate. They help us sell. They help us expand. Uh, you know, when, uh, when you'll speak with Mike, uh, he can tell you about some new innovation that he helped us actually uh, uh, deliver as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a culture shift. It's a technology shift working in, with pattern seeking and machine learning algorithm. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a, even a behavior shift because it's live in days. It's, you know, it's a technology that helps you, not a technology that creates, you know, boundaries. And it's a true partnership. It's a true partnership all, all along, yeah. Mike, what was your vision for the AP team at Weiss when you started? Uh, simply put, we wanted to do more. So we wanted to take a very progressive approach to asset protection. Um, I wanted to surround myself with folks that were innovative, creative, passionate. Um, and at the same time, we really wanted to make sure that we added value to every department or organization within our company. Um, if you think about loss prevention or asset protection, you know, we really come from a private policing background, mm -hmm. right? And the real progressive folks said, you know what, we're going to take a, a, a total loss or a more holistic approach. So they started focusing in on things like workers' comp, general liability, billing, invoicing. So the, in, the industry uh, really moved forward with these, these progressive thinkers. Well, I think the next phase of what we do in loss prevention is really becoming the profit hub. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing at Wise Market. So we're trying to take that one step further. And instead of protecting the company's assets, we're trying to actually amplify them, hmm. which is a completely different thing. Absolutely. How did Profit Tech support that vision? Well, the first thing is, to Guy's point, is they brought in a team um, that really acted as an extension of our department. Mm -hmm. um, so we were able to get to the, 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 the root of what WISE not only wanted, but what WISE needed. The other thing is, when it came to the IT implementation, Profitech really did all of the heavy lifting, which is critical, I think, in our business. As Guy said, the implementation time for Profitech is unbelievably quick in comparison to what else is out there um, in the industry and, and traditionally how long it takes to get something through IT and uh, up and running. Mm -hmm. What are some of the biggest wins that you've realized since implementing it? You know, I think the biggest win for us is we have literally been able to change the way people perceive our department <clears throat> within Wise Markets and also within the industry. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, ta we're taking a different approach, but we're actually embedding ourselves into every department within our organization. So the folks that are the experts in their area are now coming to us for information and for help in those things that they're actually the expert in. So it's mm -hmm. really changed <clears throat> how we do things. You know, how did the field respond to Profit Tech? I mean, was it easy to get them engaged and trained and, and impacting the whole business? Sure, it, it was not easy at first because it was such a, a drastic or dramatic change. You know, I think people just simply weren't used to asset protection being involved um, in the detail that we were involved in. Mm -hmm. But as we continued to show them how we can help them, whether it was in regards to profit erosion, whether it was in regards to increased sales, um, as we showed them how we can benefit them, more and more people wanted to use the product and more and more people came to us. So typically in an asset protection environment, you know, the data mining tool, the exception-based reporting tool is typically the best kept secret in the company, right? And there's a small group of people using that tool. Now, considering the size of Wise Markets, we have about 19,000 associates. We have over 600 users using our EBR or our, our Profit Tech tool. You know, why did you choose to use prescriptive analytics over the traditional EBR? <clears throat> Again, we wanted to do more, but the thing about the prescriptive analytics is it's in plain English. So whether you're in, uh, inputting a pattern saying, this is what I want to do, if you're reverse engineering a particular problem and saying, I want to see this every time it occurs, um, I think that's important. But the, the big deal is that it actually not only identifies a problem, but then it gives you a path to resolve that problem. How has PA affected your company? Um, it's enabled us to make much more educated decisions. Um, it's, it, it's enabled us to achieve our goals and become more profitable. Since your AP background goes beyond grocery, all, all the way to department stores, and does prescriptive analytics, especially profit tech, work in other retail verticals? Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
You know, I think that Profitech and prescriptive analytics, it's limited to basically your imagination, how, how, mm -hmm. how creative you can be. And again, I think the Profitech team really complements that. And, and Guy started to, to mention this, but I, I had a vision for an iPad app. And within uh, two weeks, his team came to us and had an iPad app, the first version of it, built. And the iPad app has a total, totally different function than the desktop version. Mm -hmm. But um, so, you know, every department at WISE is using this, this tool with the exception of our construction department, and I, I have a few ideas of how we're gonna get them on board next, but uh, again, I think this is applicable in every area of the retail industry, not just uh, the food end. Excellent. Well, Guy and Mike, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Well, that's it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to thank you for watching, and until next time, let's keep them all safe out there.